educating okay, you see, we know, uh, yeah, uh, the coaching department and they organize this capacity training for selected coaches. And then the woman, how did you come about to these uh, few coaches I'm selecting? Yo, I'm here with you, I'm here with you. Coaching training is the hub of the whole football. In the FA and executive committee, the technical director, I decided to select some few coaches who are at the top there and then build their capacity and then utilize them to coach the national teams so that our game will improve, performance will improve, and every Ghanaian will be happy. We share historic career in the past. Uh, coaches like Osam Dodu, Afrane, Adi, Hebe. And Kofi and the rest during those days had the opportunity to go through this. Unfortunately, there was no success in mind to continue the process. So, when we lost the six of them within a year and a half, we created a vacuum. Now, this FA has decided, in consultation with the technical director, that we have to go back to the body, whereby we select coaches, groom them send them outside, prepare them, so that they can come and lead in terms of the coaching department and the national teams that we have. Could you share that you have been and how long have you been taking? Starting in Wachina, what we are going to go through on Monday, on the 12th of November, is the beginning stage of it. And every month there is a module that they will be taking through. And for the module, whether you bring in an expert from outside, or there will be somebody locally to take them through, or they will be sent outside for attachments. Okay. It's a program that is scheduled for about a year or a year and a half. Mm. And for each month, there will be something ongoing for these coaches. Okay. And we are partnering with other countries and other professionals from FIFA, UEFA, and other places to come and help support us to build the capacity of our coaches. You have been there a participant and I say coaches in the core and I say they have further training elsewhere outside the country. Exactly. In the United fact, we have pencil countries like Germany, Holland, Brazil, you know, places that uh, our game models are similar to their game models. Our philosophies are also aligned with yes. And the coaches, you know, they may be going in groups. Mm -hmm. Maybe about four of them may go to Germany, another four may go to Holland, another four may go to you know, Brazil. And uh, those places will come in. And then the experts from that places too can come here and share all the ideas with them. But that in a nutshell, everybody will get the same content. Mm. But we rotating at a different point in time. Mm. Uh, Prof, but same Kaka, we a huge uh, year funding. Uh, when they funded this particular capacity training? The FA is funding it, and the president said it here that it's going to cost us about a million dollars to fund it. So it's, it's huge money, huge investment, but I think it's worth it. Because at the end of it, this will go a long way. These are younger coaches. And younger, not in terms of the year they are good, but if you look at their ages, you know, they are, they are relatively young. But if they can build this capacity for now, we can use them for the next 20, 25 years. And that is where we want to be. So that within the next 20, 25 years, Ghana football should be rising. And when we get to the top there, we should remain there and continue to win and put the smiles on the faces of all And I hope that this is not going to be the final one. Maybe after a year, after completion of this set, you know, yeah. the philosophy is that you yeah, better more cool. Exactly, is, uh, that is the succession plan. Mm -hmm. That was what not, was not in place, so that when we lost the six top coaches, you know, we found ourselves in this situation. Mm -hmm. I always have a succession plan, keep building capacity of other coaches, so this is the first group. Okay. And there will be another group that will follow maybe in two years' time, and that will be the plan that you want to do. Mm -hmm. How many coaches are attending? Uh, so far, as you say, normally 18 selected coaches. Okay, what am I? 18 are selected on okay. this project. Okay, it's what am I? How many coaches? So nobody can can watch your coaches now. But in this moment, criteria being among the selected coaches here, uh, there, there are a lot of criteria based upon their level they have coached, the experience, the education, their license, and everything. And you also look at gender balance. So there's a lot. And you've already started a career, giving some of them in service training. Some went to Holland, some went to Germany, some have trained overseas and the rest. But this is a top up in addition to what they have already. And they are all calf licensed coaches. So, what do you intend to achieve at the end of South Project? At the end of it is to improve Ghana coaching in terms of the national team uh, so that you can able to grow our philosophy from the grassroots in terms of uh, under 15 up to the senior national team level.
Does it mean say more detective divisions is the answer? Oh, the, 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 the deficiency is already there. I mean, you know that when we are playing, we play differently. And based upon what the coach has, that's what he trained the players on. So for us to have a common system of play, and a common philosophy, a common DNA, this is also going to help us. In addition to you know, burdening their capacity in terms of their ability to improve the game and be able to coach very well and competently at the national level to win gold and trophies for them. Technically, we are a senior person, but you have an opportunity for league matches maybe. My favorite. Okay. I think this season has been very competitive. It's an asset now. Nobody can tell who will win the league. You know, and nobody can tell who is going on relegation. Apart from maybe Kotoku Royals in the you know in the premier, in the men's side. If you look at the female side too, you can see the competition that occurred between Akim Dakoa and Zakes Lewis. And even if you look at the two teams that finished second, they are also highly competitive. And I'm even proposing that if there is a way for the top four female teams to play around rugby, that will be another level of competition whereby you can even get the potentials coming out of that. You look at the just under 20, the just ended a U20 female you know, trophy that we lifted. You can see that the performances are in And this is all due to the capability of the coaches. So if you can put them at a higher level beyond this, then you can imagine where Ghana football will be. Very competitive. What the credit in the line? I mean, the normal coaches, because they have done the work, you can see it on the floor, you can see their blueprints and everything. We can still do better. And I hope that our facilities will continue to improve so that you can see beautiful football in the place when the coaches are there. See, you're starting to now. Most of these coaches also have coaching clubs. What course you have moving in the What we do is that we, we, we work it around their schedule because they are not always in camp. So they can go and come, they have to prepare sessional planners with the assistants, draw the program with the assistants. So that when they are not there, the assistants can deliver. And when they go back, they can oversee the program with them. Okay. We need the final one. I'm going to say young coaches, as you see, as a modern one, yes, you are more disappointed with MO. Then I'll be saying, I can't. So if you saw a coach, what should be the criteria? I said, then I was so good to do saying, one coach could be saying, I coach. Not really. One coach could cry there, I went to them because at every level, you have to write an agent theory exams and then the practical coaching assessment exams. So if you don't have any basic education level, you cannot be a coach. So my uh, advice to them is that at least they have to have the minimum of the high school certificate to be able to start at the license D, which is where you start before you move to the C, B, A, and then the pro license. Okay, yeah, that's me. Yeah,